In this video, we are going to show you how to wire in functionality to a Watson Marlow 630 case bump with N module. For demonstration purposes, we'll be using a Watson Marlow 530 case bump. These are the tools you'll need. Make sure the pump is turned off and disconnected from its power source. With your screwdriver, begin by removing the six screws at the rear of the end module. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the connector adapter board on the rear of the pump. Remove the earth wire from the pump body. Remove the I.O. board by unscrewing the two obtaining screws. Carefully pull the I.O. board away along with the plastic baffle that sits behind it. Using your spanner, remove a blanking plug in the back of the end module. You may need to remove more depending on the number of functions being wired in. Screw in the cable gland, which comes with the accessories kit. These are the recommended cable specifications. Feed the cable through the open gland and prepare the ends of the cores relevant to your requirements. These are the function options available to you on the I.O. board. Replace the plastic baffle and I.O. board and affix the two obtaining screws. Insert the cores into the relevant I.O. board terminals. For this example, we're wiring in the analog function and run stop function. Using your terminal screwdriver, tighten the terminal screws up against the inserted cores. Attach the cable screen to the earth spade terminal. Tighten up the cable gland to secure the cable in place and provide a waterproof seal. Replace the earth wire between the pump body and the I.O. board. Following the keyway, reinsert the ribbon cable to the connector adapter board. Check the integrity of the seal and the switch membrane. Reattach the end module to the back of the pump with the six screws. And that's it. Thanks for watching.